Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date is September 13, 2016. Our discussion word is imperishable. Ephesians 6.12 For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this world's darkness, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. In 2 Timothy 4 8, from now on the crown of righteousness is laid up for me, whom the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who crave his appearing. In James 1 12, blessed is the man who preserves under trial. Because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Revelations 2.10 Do not fear, for you are about to suffer. Look, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison to test you. And you will suffer tribulation for ten days. Be faithful even unto death and I will give you the crown of life. Now this word defined means not perishable or subject to decay, enduring or occurring forever, not subject to deterioration, not likely to be forgotten, liable to perish, unceasing, abiding, enduring, everlasting, and permanent. God's love for us is everlasting, enduring, and imperishable. What Jesus did at the cross should not be forgotten. Through him, we are saved. We are promised eternal life, and our souls won't perish when we believe in God and his Son, Jesus Christ. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.